Praise the Lord. Good morning and welcome to the Sunrise with Jesus. And today we celebrate being human. The glory of God is man fully alive. I have a close friend of mine who spends a lot of time just looking at fish and he says it is such a relaxing, such a refreshing experience. Well, for those of us who like to watch channels like Animal Planet or National Geographic or the Discovery Channel, we realize that we are living in an earth that is extraordinarily beautiful. We look at nature around us and we see sights that are breathtaking. When we look at the animals, the creatures of the earth, the birds of the air, the, the fish of the sea, we realize that there is so much that is fascinating in creation. And then you have the skies, astronomy reveals that there is so many wonderful secrets beyond what we can see with our naked eye. And when we look at all of creation and we begin to see how fascinating is this earth, is this universe, we are now presented with this fact that God chose human beings to be the crown of creation. The human person is created by God to be far more fascinating, far more breathtaking, far more beautiful and mysterious than all of creation. And here is why we have sent Irenaeus who teaches us the glory of God is man fully alive. Now, we often equate being human with being greedy, with being selfish, with being weak, with being sinful. So you often hear people saying, I'm human, so what can I do? Well, this is a real misinterpretation of the value of being human. God is placing the highest value on the human existence. And for us to understand this, we need to look at the context of this saying of Saint Irenaeus. St. Irenaeus lived in the second century and he is the one who says the glory of God is man, man and woman, the human person, fully alive. So what does this mean? He was talking in the context where the church was faced by a heresy called Gnosticism. Gnostics, like how we have the agnostics, Gnostics. Now these people were so super spiritual that they were hardly human. They were so super spiritual that they really persecuted Christians. Now, what was the faith or the belief of the Gnostics? They contended that Jesus was God, fully divine as all of us agree. Jesus was fully divine and therefore, he could not have been truly human. He appeared human, but then they said, how can a God feel grief? God knows everything. He knows the end of everything. So why should he weep? Why should he grieve? And how can God suffer death? How can God suffer death? And that too at the hands of human persons. So they said that Jesus was fully divine, but not fully human. Now St. Irenaeus has very strong traditions, a mighty man of the Holy Spirit. He is the one who completely fought against this heresy and wiped it away with the purity and the gentleness and the power of his teachings. And his teaching is this, the glory of God is man fully alive. And he continues to say, the life of man is in the vision of God. He says, Jesus was fully human. He was tired. He was tired, he was hungry, he felt pain, he felt joy. In fact, he says, 
Jesus, drawing his breath from the Holy Spirit, could fully enter the human existence. He was more human than every one of us, and he teaches us how to enter the human life. Because you and I, we are not strong enough to enter the fully alive mode. Why? Because our tiredness has been stolen by anxieties. Our joy has been stolen by fears. Our love has been stolen by our pettiness. And our grief has been stolen by distractions and depression. And it is only by turning to the Holy Spirit, the breath of God, that Jesus reveals to us that you and I can fully enter the human existence. Dear friends, you and I must know to be fully human is to be fully alive. And to be fully alive is a way we will glorify God. Let us never imagine a spiritual person is an anesthetized person. You know what anesthesia is. You give a person anesthesia before a surgery, so they become numb. They don't feel pain. They don't feel anything that is happening to them. And sometimes we have misportrayed spirituality as being disconnected from the pathos, the feelings, the pains, the burdens of human existence. Not true. Jesus became the Son of Man so that you and I can learn to be human. You and I can feel pain. You and I can feel joy. Yes, the human existence is rich. Our existence as children of God is absolutely fascinating. But for us to drink of this existence, to live this existence, we need the Holy Spirit. Dear friends, as we listen to this message, may we strive and thirst for the Holy Spirit, that we may learn to thirst and hunger, that we may learn to be tired, that we may learn to grieve and to rejoice and to live life fully alive as fully human persons. My dear sisters and brothers, let me ask you a question. A very simple question. You take a glass of water and put two spoonful sugar into that water and then drink it. Will the water be sweet? No? 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 Your opinion? Yes? There you are. Now you understand why there's a problem in families. Well, the water will not be sweet. That's why I said in the beginning you would know better. The water will not be sweet in order the water to become sweet. You need to stir the water. You get it after being stirred. You need to stir the water and then all the molecules of sugar will become part of the drops of water and the water will be sweet. In regard to the Holy Spirit, all of us have received the Holy Spirit at the moment of our baptism. And whenever we received any sacrament, this anointing became fresh and more powerful in us. And yet, we are not able to feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. We are living very natural lives. Very natural lives. We are not able to live a supernatural life on this earth. Say, for example, when I fail, a natural consequence, I will be sad. And Jesus wants us to be supernatural. How do we become supernatural? How do we become spiritual? We become spiritual when we are filled with the Holy Spirit and we are led by the Holy Spirit. The one thing Mother Mary taught the apostles 
in the upper room. We are told, but the Mary kept the apostles in the upper room of one heart and soul, waiting for the Holy Spirit. The one thing but the Mary taught them was to become servants of God. Servants of God. As Mother Mary became preparing them for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And therefore, when the Holy Spirit came upon the apostles and everybody misunderstood them, they said, this man, these Galileans are drunk early morning. Simon Peter said, oh, no, 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 we are not drunk. This is the Holy Spirit. And he quoted prophet Joel chapter 3. This is the fulfillment of the promise on the last day, on the last day, God will anoint his servants and handmaids with the Holy Spirit. Who will be anointed with the Holy Spirit? Who will be anointed with the Holy Spirit? The servants and handmaids. When we become servants of God, when we become handmaids of God, waiting to do God's will, that's when the Holy Spirit comes upon us. The glory of God is man fully alive. Saint Irenaeus could say this because he knew the extent of the love of God, because he had this access to the heart of God. And you may ask how? Because he was the disciple of Polycarp, and Polycarp was a disciple of Saint John the Evangelist. And Saint John the Evangelist was one who lay his head on the heart of Jesus. The one who contended, God is love. John is the one who portrayed for us how Jesus was tired, how Jesus thirsted, and how he thirsted even on the cross. The Son of God, Jesus, the Son of God became the Son of Man so that we who are the sons, sons and daughters, sons and daughters, the children of humans, we who are the children of man can become the children of God. Yes, Jesus came to this earth so that we can find our way to heaven. The human existence is a heavenly journey to experience the beauty of our Father in heaven. Come, let us adore Jesus. For as we adore him, we celebrate who we are, we celebrate the love of our God. When I look into your holiness, when I gaze into your loveliness, when all things that surround become shadows in the light of you, When I find the joy of reaching your heart When my will becomes enthroned in your love When all things that surround Become shadows in the light of you I worship you Jesus, let me begin this day looking into the holiness of your face before I look at the face of anyone else, before I look at the world 
around me. Let me look at your face. You are the creator of the whole world. Everything comes from you. You created the whole world for us because you loved us. Everything came out of your love. And therefore, before I look at everything and anything, let me look at your face and worship you. I worship you, O oh Lord. I worship you. I worship you. above me the green world around me the rivers flowing the birds chirping all are created and given to me because you love me Jesus and my family is given to me by you, O oh Lord, and my friends, my teachers, and the people I'm going to work with today, everyone, the whole of humanity, O oh Lord, everyone is your creation, your gift to me. I will worship you. I will live in peace and joy and love. I will breathe the air of peace, worshipping you and thanking you because you are my God. You love me. Everything, everything whispers to my heart of your loving care for me. Lord, thank you, thank you for speaking to me of your great love. Thank you, thank you for telling me how this universe, this magnificent universe around me whispers to me of your love. Thank you, O oh God, this day. This day, I accept from your hands as your gift. Your, your word tells me, Psalm 118, Psalm 118, verse 24. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. Lord, this day is made by you and given to me as a gift from your hands. My dear sisters and brothers, last night, the early hours of last night, I was praying for some time. I was studying. I was reading the word of God. All those hours, I could hear the sirens of the ambulance. Ambulances rushing along the highway by the side of the retreat center. Every time I thought it should be a sick person being rushed to the hospital nearby. But it could be an accident case rushed to the emergency ward or to the intensive care unit. I, I do not know how many of them are still alive and how many of them are dead by now. 
if that happened in a little town here thousands tens of thousands would have lost their lives last night they did not have the privilege to open their eyes this morning when i opened my eyes this morning the first thing i said was lord thank you you gave me this day this day is a privilege this day is a gift this day is a grace you have given me a grace not given to tens of thousands of people for your own reason but you considered me precious that you gave me this grace my dear sisters and brothers the lord has given us this gift this blessing of this day the lord has prepared this day and given this blessing for us let us accept this blessing from the hands of god let's sing together praising and thanking god rejoicing rejoicing accepting this gift from the hands of our god this is the day that the lord has made i will rejoice and be glad in it oh this is the day that the lord has made and i will rejoice and be glad in it rejoice in the lord rejoice rejoice in the lord lord this is the day that the lord has made and i will rejoice and be glad in it oh this is the day that the lord has made and i will rejoice and be glad and rejoice i rejoice in the lord rejoice in the lord lord every moment of this day is planned by you and nothing will happen to me by chance every moment of this day is planned by you and all that i need to do is to fall in line with your plan and your plan is for my good for the welfare of my family i need to wait i need to wait praying praying asking you oh god what is your plan for me and i shall not allow any evil desire to enter into my heart i shall not allow any bitter angry thought to come to my mind i shall not allow any lustful desire to creep into my mind i shall keep my heart pure and open to you and i will be able i will be able to discern your will what i am to do today lord this day this day i accept from your hands this is the day this is the day that the lord has made and i will rejoice and be glad in it Oh this is the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice and be glad and rejoice in the Lord I rejoice my Lord rejoice I thank you my Lord in the Lord Lord Jesus give me your spirit it is in the light of your spirit that i will know your will it is in the power of your spirit 
that i will be able to be holy today i will be able to do your will today not my will lord not my will that your will be done and i shall keep my heart always transparent waiting for your will your face to shine in my heart let me be able to experience your your face your will lord the dear anointing anointing of your spirit come into my heart at every moment of this day anoint me with your spirit and give me your blessing o oh lord spirit of the living god fall in fresh on me spirit of the living god fall in fresh on me spirit of the living god fall in fresh on me spirit of the living god fall in fresh on me the sacrament most holy who sacrament praise and all thanks given be every moment thy be every moment thy be we have blessed to be human and being human is a blessed experience not a defeated existence but an existence that was there in the vision of god so go forth and celebrate this day celebrate your existence celebrate your god and have a a blessed beautiful day with jesus The Ministry of the Divine Retreat Center needs your support as they continue in their commitment to preach the good news of Jesus through the weekly retreats, the daily online and television ministry, through the service of 3000 disadvantaged persons, the mentally challenged, the aged the destitute women the sick and abandoned and economically disadvantaged families if you are inspired to share in this ministry through the sacred service of alms giving we invite you to send your love offering to divine charitable trust cd account number 04022318 00001 HDFC Bank Chalakudi branch IFSC code HDFC 0000402 and email the details to divine retreat center at gmail.com